The new year has started and bikers everywhere are excited to climb back on their steel horse, myself included. I often hear the question, which modular helmet is best for me? Well, that's exactly what I'm going to tell you in this video. I'll take you through the most important aspects and give you my opinion on which modular helmet is best for which type of rider. Let's dive right in. If you were to ask me my opinion on the five best modular motorcycle helmets for 2020, then these five would be in my lineup, and I'm going to tell you why. We all know that every rider is different. Some riders travel around the world or use their bikes for work. Others only go out for a couple of hours once or twice per summer. The fact of the matter is that not all modular helmets are the same and they also won't fit every type of bike. I'm also going to show you a few key specifications and offer you my opinion on some of the features that make these helmets unique. By the end of this video, you'll know which helmet to choose. The Scorpion Exotech is a very complete modular helmet, or if you like, hybrid helmet. This helmet has a thermoplastic outer shell, which does make it a little bit of an outsider in this lineup, but that doesn't really matter as it matches the price. The thing that makes this modular helmet so unique is the chin bar that can be flipped all the way to the back of the helmet, hence the hybrid. This system is similar to the roof boxer system, but then for a friendlier price. Being able to flip the chin bar all the way back is a really neat feature, especially if you do a lot of airman riding. It adds a lot of comfort on hot days when you can transform your closed modular helmet into an open face one within a second. And it's really nice that the chin bar doesn't hang around on top like it does on traditional modular helmets. That causes the wind to yank at your head more at higher speeds. Something that the Scorpion Exotech will do much less when worn in the open position. The helmet features dual homologation, meaning that you're legally allowed to ride around with the helmet closed or open. It's your call. The Scorpion Exotech comes with a pinlock anti-fog lens in the box. In plain English, this is like double glazing windows and it makes sure that your visor doesn't get all fogged up. The pinlock is the same size as the visor itself and thanks to this, there won't be any lens edges obscuring your view. Speaking of the visor, imagine if you're riding on a nice country road with your chin bar up and your visor down. Now this can be a very comfortable configuration, especially on hot days. But then you need to join the motorway and you want to close the chin bar. Well, how do you do it? It's simple as can be. Grab the chin bar and pull it over the top. You'll see that the visor automatically retracts, making it quick and easy to change the configuration back into full face mode without even thinking about it. This clever system is actually one of the reasons that this helmet is so unique compared to other helmets. Of course, the helmet features a sun visor, which can be operated by using the slider on the left side of the shell. The ventilation inlets are easy to operate with the switches on the top and the front of the helmet. So who is this helmet for? As always, this is something that's largely open to one's own interpretation. In my opinion, this helmet will work best for tour bikes, motor scooters and MP3s. It will probably perform best within and around the city limits. Are you planning on doing a lot of riding for work or maybe travelling? Then you might be better off with a different type of modular helmet, but I'll get to that soon and I'll show you what I mean. If you only look at the specs of this helmet, then you might wonder why the Roof Boxer V8 belongs in the lineup of the five best modular helmets. For instance, the visor has no pinlock anti-fog lens and the chin bar doesn't click into place as easily as the one on the Scorpion helmet. But personally, I think these things really define this helmet and it definitely does belong in this lineup. Just only by looking at the helmet and its functionalities, it shows a great deal of style and quality. It's the best sold helmet within the city and urban areas and that's definitely saying something. The helmet shares a trait with the Exotech. The chin bar can be rotated all the way to the back, revealing the famous devil horns. This modular helmet from Roof has a fiberglass outer shell which offers a strong helmet shell with relatively low weight, making the shell itself superior to that of the Scorpion. When it comes to looks, the Roof Boxer matches Harleys and custom bikes perfectly. But to be honest, you can easily wear this helmet on your naked bike or motor scooter if you like. The cool looks do bring lesser aerodynamics in this case, and it is best used in and around the city limits. It will be a treat to ride with in summer, 
but the helmet will be less practical on the motorway. I just want to briefly jump back to the subject of the looks because you can buy a whole lot of cool visors for this helmet so that you can customize the appearance to your personal taste. The Boxer itself is also available in a few different versions. If we're talking proper tour helmets then we can't skip the Nolan N105 Plus. Nolan have been in the game so long that they've invented a few useful features not found on any other helmet. Even coppers put their trust in these Italian stallions. Nolan differentiate themselves from the rest by using the strong Lexan polycarbonate material for all their helmets. This material is stronger than regular polycarbonate and that makes this helmet a very interesting competitor in its price category. Of course the outer shell isn't the only thing that makes the N105 Plus special. The front of the helmet reveals two red levers, the so-called dual action locking mechanism. You have to press down both of these levers to open the chin bar. Well first off this is a safety feature as the chin bar can never suddenly open and secondly it makes sure that you're always able to find the levers even when wearing thicker gloves. When opening the chin bar something special happens. The chin bar has a double hinge system so it doesn't only go up but it also falls back on the shell and this has been done to keep the helmet as compact as possible when opened and this is obviously so that you'll catch less wind. This is unique to the N105 and N105 Plus. This modular helmet also features the PGA homologation, just like the previous two models I've shown you, so it's legal to ride on public roads with the chin bar either up or down. The large visor at the front over here offers great viewing angles and even the pinlock anti-fog lens, which is included, matches the visor's size. The N105 Plus also has an integrated sun visor, which can be adjusted in four steps. As the sun scuttled off, no worries. Press the spring-loaded button and it magically vanishes. Nolan has developed a few communication systems together with SENA. One of these ENCOM systems is equipped with ESS, the emergency stop signal. Basically this is an extra brake light, but mounted on the back of your helmet. If you hit the brakes harder than average, then the bright red light will turn on to warn other road users. The Nolan N105 Plus has an adjustable inner lining. The so-called liner pad control allows you to slightly move the top of the centre pad to help soften possible hot spots or pressure points. It's also fully pierced and in combination with the large ventilation inlets, it offers efficient ventilation and air circulation. The underside of the helmet features a neck roll that you can tighten to help eliminate air coming from the bottom and this helps keep the helmet quiet and warm. The Nolan N105 Plus is a real tour helmet. You can use it all year round in all weather conditions. Nolan work hard to make their helmets as safe and comfortable as possible. And they've passed again with flying colours. Flip-up helmets by Schuber for previously purist tour helmets. Nowadays that's still the case, but the C4 Pro Carbon is now also classed as tour sport. This is largely down to the large jumbo visor with the same size pinlock anti-fog lens. Thanks to the large viewing angles, this helmet is now suitable for use on sports bike and naked bikes. The large integrated sun visor can easily be operated by moving the slider on the left side of the shell, and you can even adjust it a little bit with the switch on the bottom. The C4 Pro's outer shell is made from a rock-solid fiberglass matrix which offers good impact protection. The Pro Carbon, however, takes it one step further with its 100% carbon outer shell. This makes the shell even stronger and even lighter. The Schubert C4 Pro Carbon is equipped with pre-installed speakers and a microphone. All the wires have been hidden within the helmet, and the only thing that you need to do to use this system is purchase the SC1 standard or advanced and click it into place in the bottom. The SC1 systems consist of a battery and a communication module, so it's very easy and very quick to install. On that note, communicating with other riders on the road shouldn't be a problem, especially as the Schubert C4 Pro is looked upon as one of the quietest modular helmets in the world. You see, the interior fits so nice and tightly against your neck and face that it's nearly impossible for riding wind to find its way into the helmet, unless you've got the vents in the open position, of course. 
The interior doesn't only fit snugly, it's also very comfortable. The velvet material is the most luxurious lining I've ever seen inside a motorcycle helmet. It feels very soft and it definitely ups the level of wearing comfort. However, there are two things that I'm less fond of. One of which is the fact that this helmet only comes in two shell sizes, and the other one is that the helmet has no PJ homologation. They're not deal breakers, but it is something I'd expect to see at this price point. The Shubuff C4 Pro Carbon will get you to your destination in a dry, safe and comfortable manner. The helmet can easily be used for long trips and travelling. We're not picking a winner from these five helmets, but if we did, then the Shoei Neotech 2 would already have a head start over the others. The reason being that this helmet was released back in 2018, but it's still in the lineup for 2020. The outer shell of the Neotech 2 is made from a few different materials. The so called Advanced Integrated Matrix is built up from multiple layers of fiberglass, carbon fibre, and aramid fibres. The outer shell also comes in three different shell sizes, a unique feature of this helmet compared to the other four. The Shoei Neotech 2 has a fantastic fit. This helmet genuinely fits the vast majority of people who try it on. But if there's still room for improvement, well then we can fix that with the Shoei Personal Fitting System. This is a unique custom fitting system developed by the Japanese helmet manufacturer. You can read more about this by clicking the link in the description below. The interior of this helmet feels soft, but also at the same time it feels durable. It might not be as soft as the interior of the Shubuff C4 Pro Carbon, but that one is hard to beat. This helmet is not much different on the underside, the neck padding fits tightly around the neck to help eliminate wind blowing inside the helmet, and it's partly thanks to this feature that this helmet also belongs to the category of the quietest modular helmets. The Neotech 2 brings a few special features that are not seen on the other models. The curved visor edges are a good example. They are curved against the helmet shell as tightly as possible to keep the visor wind and waterproof. And of course the visor won't fog up as you will get a Pinlock Max Vision anti-fog lens in the box. The sun visor of the Neotech 2 is easy to operate with the slider on the left side of the helmet. And if we close the chin bar and look at the front we can see a small spoiler which works together with the ducktail diffuser and the helmet shape to create a stable and clever wind flow. In plain English, the wind won't yank at your head so much at higher speeds. Another feature that charmed me is the way that you can lock the chin bar into place for the PJ homologation. The Nolan helmet requires you to flip a switch which can be difficult to find while riding. The Neotech 2 simply requires you to push back the chin bar twice for it to click into place, which is a doddle. Shoei have developed a fully integrated communication system together with Sena, much like Shubuff did. Except that the Shoei system is completely separate, whereas the Shubuff C4 Pro already has some parts pre-installed. In theory, this means that you could install a universal intercom in the Shoei Neotech 2, but not as easily and stealthy as the Sena SRL1 or SRL2. This helmet comes across as a tour helmet, but really it's a bit of an all-rounder. You can easily use this lid for long trips, travelling the world, going to work, or even something as simple as popping into Asda for some crumpets. Well that pretty much wraps up our video about the 5 best modular helmets of 2020. Thanks for tuning in, I hope you like watching it and that you now have a better idea of which helmet is the right one for you. It would be very appreciated if you'd like to click the thumbs up button and also subscribe to our channel. That way we can keep putting in all the hard work and you've always got something good and informative to watch. Check out our full collection of motorcycle helmets over at www.fortomoto.com or come and see us in our store in Amsterdam. Either way, thanks for watching, ride safe and I'll see you next time. Cheerio!